with the introduction of the new LSM Via Viewer, it is now possible to create and edit a playlist completely from within the viewer, from adding, deleting, and moving clips, all the way up to editing the speed and the effects of that clip, even muting a clip and adding an aux clip, all are possible from within the viewer. Select a new or existing playlist from the playlist grid. To access the playlist grid, press the end button on the keyboard. Navigate using the arrows to the desired playlist and select it by pressing the enter key. Note that an existing playlist, one you've already built, will be loaded on the program output ready for playout. For this demo, however, we will start from scratch and create a new playlist. Press F10 on the keyboard to open the playlist panel. To change focus for your cursor keys, press Alt plus Tab on the keyboard. To add clips into the playlist, select the clip you want to add from the clip grid. As soon as a clip is selected, a plus sign will become available in the playlist panel. Thanks to the use of a mouse, you can also do a multi-selection of different clips and camera angles and insert them by clicking the plus button in the playlist panel. To move playlist elements, you need to select them from within the playlist panel, then press the plus button corresponding to your desired element location in the playlist. To delete a playlist element, press Alt plus Delete or Control plus Delete. Note that when deleting a playlist element, you are only deleting the reference in the playlist, not the clip itself. Transition effects and durations can be edited as well. By clicking on the effect type, a drop down menu will appear, providing you a list of all transition effects available. Select the desired transition from the list. To edit the transition effect duration, click the video effect duration field next to the effect type and enter a value for the transition effect duration. Note, there is a link symbol next to the video duration field. This is to link or unlink the video to the audio effect duration. If you would like a different transition effect or duration, you can unlink and define a different type and duration for that audio. You can also edit several playlist elements at once by selecting the desired clips that need to be edited. At the bottom of the playlist panel, you'll see the edit field available. The same procedure as before is maintained to apply effects. If we look deeper in terms of audio, it is now possible to mute the audio of a playlist element. Simply click the mute button in the playlist panel. Once the mute has been activated, the button will turn orange. Another feature regarding audio is adding an auxiliary audio clip to a playlist. To add an aux clip to your playlist, select the desired clip from the clip grid. Once you've selected your clip, you'll see on the bottom of the playlist panel, the aux clip field now has a plus button. Click the plus button and your clip will be added as an aux clip to your playlist. To remove the aux clip, click on the aux clip name field. A minus icon appears. Now click the minus to delete the aux clip from that playlist. Once you are finished editing your playlist, you can start the playout by pressing Alt plus P on your keyboard. Welcome to the new replay experience.